All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, market basket analysis, right? So what is a market basket analysis? Uh, one of retailers' favorite analysis techniques to help them understand the purchase behavior of their customers is the market basket analysis, right? When you log on Amazon.com, most likely you've noticed the frequently bought together section. That's where Jeff Bezos is trying to cross sell you additional products based upon the purchase history of other people who have purchased the same item. So the market basket analysis is very uh, useful because it influences how retailers institute their sales promotions, uh, loyalty programs, cross-selling and upselling, even store layouts. So if a retailer observes that most people who purchase Coca-Cola, and I got to give a shout out to Coca-Cola since I'm broadcasting from Atlanta, uh, also purchase a package of Doritos, then it may not make sense to discount both items at once, as the consumer may have purchased the associated item at full price anyway. So they, if they buy the Coca-Cola, they may already purchase the Doritos at full price anyhow. So don't discount both items at once. So understanding the correlation between the two is powerful for the retailer. So we're going to use Tableau to perform a very simple market basket uh, analysis based upon default superstore data. And there, there are many ways to do this in Tableau. You can make it as complicated as you want, but I, I find this to be the simplest to, uh, to understand. So let's, uh, let's go back to our data source. We have a sample superstore open. We've got uh, orders. Let's do a self join here uh, based upon the order ID to order ID. And we want to do our market basket analysis on subcategories. I want to know which subcategories are on orders or on the same orders uh, the most number of times. So we go subcategory to subcategory. We're going to change this join. Uh, let's for now let's do not equal to. Uh, we're going to change this later. I just want to show you how it affects the visualization. So what we want to do now is we want to take the uh, the subcategory uh, down here in my products subcategory. And I want to drag that to columns, right? And then we're going to take subcategory from the self join and bring that to rows. And you'll see we get this uh, this uh, interesting correlation, almost correlation matrix uh, going on. Let's change the, the view to entire view here. And just a little bit of formatting. Let's uh, rotate the labels here. Okay. All right. So now let's place, a, we're going to place a count of order ID. So we're going to take, uh, we're going to go down here to, uh, we're going to take our profit, not subcategory, order ID. Um, there we go. We're going to drag that to, um, to the text, right? And we're going to make sure that this is a measure and we want to count distinct, right? All right, so now we're starting to get numbers here. You can see appliances and accessories are 60. And I've also have this mirror image here. Um, but for now, let's just take, let's take a copy and place this on color and change this to a, uh, let's change it to square, right? And as you can see, boom, my eyes are immediately drawn to paper and binders. I can see that they appear on the same order 275 times. But I also have the same information here. How do I get rid of uh, the kind of mirror side here of these numbers, right? You could highlight all of these and, and get rid of them uh, manually. But this is where we go back to our join. And then we're going to change this to, let's make it, let's make it less than. And so now when I go back to my sheet, boom, I've lost kind of my mirror side. And I only have uh, my pertinent market basket uh, information here, my paper and my binders, 275. I'm drawn to furnishings and binders 198 times. So uh, as you can see, boom, this is my, my visualization. And so you can you can change this up if I wanted to take, uh, let's say, let's see what's profitable. I could throw that on the colors and, you know, I have uh, profitability here or profits, raw profits. I could take profit ratio and also throw that on colors and you know my, my information changes so what uh, what I'd recommend just keep it on the accounts and you can take profit you can throw that on the tooltip you can take uh, profit ratio also throw that on the uh, on the tooltip let's try that again throw that on the tooltip so now if I go here I can see all right binders give me a profit of almost 15,000 
uh, with a profit ratio of 27%. But if I go to furnishings and uh, binders, right, high correlation, 198, but my profit, right, there's hardly any, there's no money in this game selling furnishings and binders together, right? $70 a profit, $0 profit ratio. So just because items are correlated doesn't mean they're uh, profitable according to uh, the Tableau Superstore data here. So as you can see, this has been very quick, uh, very easy. Um, you know, Tableau data is always in perfect condition, perfect format. As you get out into real world data, you know, it's never, the data is never this nicely aligned, but you've got the simple concept to go forward and do something uh, interesting and powerful. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.